Andrew Tate seems to be a person that a lot of guys look up to and a lot of women hate. Over the past years, he's made a lot of misogynistic comments when talking about his beliefs when it comes to relationships. And today, I plan on doing the exact same thing. Do you want to see your disgusting misogynistic dance so Hazel and I are getting ready to film a video, a agree to disagree, and the prompts I came up with is a perfect setup for me to say some things that she 100% is not gonna take lightly. I'ma say all women have to offer is their body. I'ma compare her to an object. I'ma say a lot of things that would 100% get me canceled. I know she would never put up with a guy who would talk or say a lot of things that I'ma say today. A lot of it is just flat out disrespectful. This is wrong. It's 100% sexist. I actually really did want to do this video, so we'll probably re film this video probably like tomorrow due to the last video about two weeks ago of her pranking me with a tinder profile it only felt right in my heart and get me a little bit of payback you feel me i don't play those little stupid dumb games today i'm about to go crazy for real you feel me grab your popcorn because today's video is about to be nuts expect to see a lot of craziness in in this video if i manage to make hazel leave before the video is over you guys owe me a like and a subscribe so let's get it let's go crazy out we out what is up halo army it's your boy milo and what are we doing today shorty today we're gonna be playing a fun little game might turn a little heated we're doing agree to disagree we're talking about certain topics we're just yeah. gonna say a phrase we have these little words right here we have a disagree one and an agree one if we agree with the statement we'll put up our agree sign or if we disagree and then we're just gonna talk about it and say why we agree or disagree are you nervous i am a little bit nervous because i feel like we do tend to disagree a lot yeah I topics like we just have different opinions we have a lot of debates yeah we debate a lot <laughs> i think we should make a podcast we're gonna talk about some things that are kind of controversial yeah you know on the internet you know i think it'd be cool that you guys can get our opinion on those as well you just want to hop straight into it all right cheating is unforgivable 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 we both would disagree? Disagree. Wow, okay. I think cheating is just disgusting. But I think there's, you know, there's situations where it can be forgiven. Situations where the woman or the guy, you know, is drunk or intoxicated. It's your fault for letting it get to that point. But I feel like that's a situation where it could be forgiven. Especially if the person's like, I don't even remember what happened. I, I don't think that's okay because you should still yeah, be you, in control. You're still like, accountable, still accountable. Yeah. But I'm saying for cheating specifically. Yeah, I, the reason why I think it is forgivable sometimes people make mistakes like if you're with somebody for like a long time like 20 years and like they slip up once yeah. you know I don't know what I would do in that situation <laughs> yeah me neither <laughs> like so it's easy to say oh yeah it's forgivable I always used to say when I was younger I was like I don't care a man cheats on me I'm leaving like that's it but as you get older and you are actually in relationships I just feel like sometimes like you have grace for your partner or yeah. you are able to forgive them for certain things but then again there is forms of cheating that yeah, I, depends I, on would, what it is I would not too, deem you know? forgivable yeah, that's, you know what that's, I'm saying? it also depends on what happened. Like, yeah. I feel like it depends on the situation, why it happened. It just depends. Sometimes it's not forgivable, right? Yeah. Some it forms depends. of cheating is it not depends. forgivable. It is okay for the woman in a relationship to have an OnlyFans account. I get so nervous talking about this because I feel like it's very controversial, but I'm going to just be honest. I'm going to say agree. Wait, what? let me explain, let me explain. I'm shocked. You would think it would be vice versa. <laughs> I remember when OnlyFans was like for artists. It wasn't like a porn website. Right, but, but it listen, is listen, now listen, though. Listen, so listen, if listen. a woman has an OnlyFans account now, that you but know that's it is, what it's for. It is now, but there, there's also limits to it. Let's say you wanted to make an OnlyFans and only post like bikini pictures. You can do that. I would not stop you from doing that, but I feel like you're kind of like my property, so I need at least like 50% of that. Like I need, wait, wait, I need wait, wait, all, wait. I need, I need what a Cut. So it's, it could be like a Babe. it could be like a business at that point. You do not just say that I'm your property. You are my property. Excuse me? No, I'm not. I'm a human being. I'm not nobody's property. I don't belong to nobody except God. You got me messed up. I do not belong to you. I'm not your property. What the freak? Why would you say that? You got me messed up. Well, if you were to make an OnlyFans account, I need at least 50% because like your body is my body. So it's like you're kind of like, Friend. you're kind of selling. What are selling. you saying right now? You sound insane. My body is not your body. My body is my body. It's our You're not, body. No, it's not. It's yours no, it is not. But it's... No, it is not. Are you right. crazy? Well, I... What the? Right, oh my god. On. Do you really think like that? What? You think you really own me? You think my body is your body? I, I thought so. I thought. No, I... it's not. It's maybe, maybe, not. maybe, like, what? maybe in my mind it was a little more innocent than it came out. That's my bad. Next prompt. Please don't get me mad. Like, I don't know why you would even say something like that. It's okay to go to bed angry. 
Why do you agree? <laughs> sometimes I go to sleep because I'm angry. Like sometimes I just gotta sleep it off, bro. Like I don't think it's okay. Like I don't think it's okay to go to bed angry because I feel like whatever the issue is, let's resolve it. Let's go through. Let's get through it now because then you know what? You're gonna take the problems from today into tomorrow because and then you went we to sleep angry so then you're you're carrying it into the next day and it's going to ruin the next day so it's like why not just squash it now so that we can start tomorrow brand new and have a better day you know what i'm saying but there's then, no reason to carry it but then we could just go to sleep refresh our brain wake no, up no but i'm still be mad if we, if we if you go to bed mad you're gonna wake up mad that's how yeah, it is yeah and then we could and if you if you you're gonna be mad until you talk about it. So even in the morning, yeah, you're gonna be mad until you talk about it. That's why we talk about it before we go to sleep. We could go to sleep happy and holding you each should, other. You should, you should, you should talk about it before sleep. You should not go to sleep mad. But I do agree that there's nothing necessarily wrong with going to sleep mad. Yeah, but it's better. If it's you not don't. like a it's deal breaker. It's better if you don't go to sleep mad. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Right, so you I'll, shouldn't go to bed angry. But if it's like five o'clock in the morning, bro, like, can we just? Go to sleep and talk about it in a few hours when we wake up. Sometimes I, my eyes be like this, and you want to argue about why I didn't Sako delay the bed. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Women start majority of the arguments. I don't want to say it, but... I agree, bro. I put agree. Because I just be chilling until you listen, start yelling listen, at me. Listen, 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 listen. Men are just so nonchalant. They don't care about anything. They don't see That's not true. nothing. I'm not saying for all women, but most women, I feel like... If there's something that bothers us, we're gonna say it. So we're gonna speak about it. And then you wanna turn it into an argument or you think it's an argument when really we're just trying to talk and communicate about how we feel or what what is making us like, you know what I'm saying? It don't have to be an argument, but y'all take it as an argument. Y'all think women, oh, all women like to do is argue when really we don't, we don't, we're not arguing, we're just trying to talk to you. That's not always the case. That bro. is the case. Because that's what it is. That's, I why, think... that's why people think women start majority of the, the arguments. But it's not true. We don't start them. We just want to be, we just want to talk. A lot of women just struggle with right place, right time. There's a time and a place well, for everything. Well, if it's bothering me right now, then right now is the right time. Exactly. And, and I, I, I feel like you got to be more aware and more conscious that, no, you know, No, if it's bothering me, I'm going to get it off my chest right then and there. I don't care. I'm gonna get. I'm not, no. Yeah, but that's not always. No, that is. That's not always what's best for the relationship. It might be what's best for you, but it's not always what's best for both of us. So you want me what's to best hold for... it in and, and let it bother me and... and... No. Nah. No, nah, definitely don't hold it in and like right. let it bother you, but you can speak about the issue. This is something that bothered me. I would really love to talk to you whenever yeah, that's you how, got... that's how it goes. So that's that not... Nah, nah, if you... Be, no, nah. it do go like that. The it first thing that me. is said is usually something that's very passive aggressive and then it leads to an argument. That's how it usually transpires. It could have been said in a better way. It could have been said at a way better time. Time and place, bro. Time and place, bro. Okay, I guess we're just gonna have to agree to disagree on that one. That's funny because we agree and disagree. Right. Good personality is more important than good looks when it comes to dating. That's a good one. This might sound crazy, but I'm gonna put You disagree. disagree too? Yeah. I feel like I feel like all women really have to offer their looks and like their attraction. I feel like personality don't go a long way when it comes Baby, to Baby do not just say that. What? All women have to offer is looks. Yes, really? all they all they That's have, all they have to offer is All looks? women have to offer is physical their physical That's being. That's not true. Yes, sexually and also like they're good to look at. Like That's they're all pleasing. we they're, have to offer? Yeah, it's kinda like going to an art museum. Like you can't have the art but it's good to look at. It's You sound so stupid. So you're saying that's all I have to offer? Everything is physical. Like, that's all I have to offer? Also like being pregnant. That's all I have to offer? You're here to look good and have kids. Look you good. sound like such a freaking nasty, pathetic man. Like you, no, not even a man. You sound like a little boy. You're delusional. How? Who raised you? My mother. Well, she did not raise you like this, cause that's crazy. Mm -mm. You literally sound like Andrew Tate or something. That. I sound like I, he got banned. I'm not banned anymore. Anyway. Whoa, why are you saying that? That all women have to offer is looks and to have kids. Are you for real? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. That's all I have to offer you. I mean, you cook for me. Like, you cook, too. And you clean sometimes. You know how, like, misogynistic you sound right now? How? That's all I have to offer you is to cook, clean, and look good? No, I did not. All I did not say all you have to offer That's what is you cook said. and clean. And look good and have babies. That's all women are good for? Biologically. You're, like, disgusting. Like, I'm actually, like, disgusted in you right now. Are you serious? Yes. You about to cry? No. Why would I cry? Why are your eyes watery? My eyes are not watery. I'm not about to cry. Why would I cry? I want to punch you because you're stupid. Like, why Why are you saying things like that? If you punch me, it's just double standards because you know I can't punch you back. That's crazy.
Are we gonna leave all this in there so people can see who how you really think? Cause like no. I don't want I don't wanna be with a man who thinks like that. If this is really how you think, like that's very concerning. Just answer it. And that's I, really how you think. That's really concerning. I don't wanna be a man who thinks like that. Okay, baby. I, so that's how really how you feel. All I have to offer you is no. to cook clean and have babies and look good for you. I don't feel like that. I don't know why I said that. Cause you're like disgusting and clearly your true thoughts are coming out. I think both are equally important. But I feel like if you're not attracted to the person that you're dating, you're which not gonna is not give gonna the personality work. even a chance. Yeah, you know, like I just feel like you have to. There has to be some type of physical attraction. Yeah. For a relationship, you to can't work. just like, be. I'm sorry. You like, can't just be dead, be ugly, and hope that your personality wins it over. Like you I know, at least be I know, like a lot a of seven. women, they'll say like they'll date ugly men. They'll treat them better. They're funny. They're nice. I don't think one's more important than the other. I feel like obviously, like you could look good, but if you're boring, I'm not gonna like you. You gotta be a full so it's package. Like, you have to have both. And you, know? you gotta know how to cook and clean. Definitely, one hundred percent gotta know. How to what cook the man's who? The man don't have to. The man just, the man has to know how to work and provide. The woman has to know how to cook, <sighs> clean, and gawk gawk. <laughs> Next prompt: The man is the head of the household. One hundred percent. I don't know. I kind of agree and disagree. Can I do both? I say by, both. By default, the man is the head of the household. I feel like that's what we were taught, like growing up. Like the man is the head of the household. Like he's the I mean, head if, of the house. If someone, if someone breaks into our house, I'm, but I'm gonna be just, the one risking right, my life to that save. Does that necessarily make you both. the head of the household? I like I said, I feel like we were brought up to to say the man is the head of the household. I feel like that was back in the day, like in the fifties, when men like all they did was work. And like they paid all the bills and you know they were building houses and fixing everything in the house like being like hard working men i don't think that applies anymore like i feel I think, like more men aren't paying every single bill on their own anymore why but is I, that men are the head of the house but i still? still think it is a different level of respect for a man that embodies his full like masculinity you know what i mean like it's a even when you saying? even <laughs> what does that have to do with anything babe that makes even no sense. even if you think about like your children when we have children the children are gonna have a different type of level of respect for the man they're gonna of course but does that make you the head of the household uh yes definitely I if feel it like gets to a someone... point where you gotta call my name just to put our kids in check because they respect me I a feel, little more i feel like what makes someone the head of the household is someone who holds down the house and i feel like nowadays it's mostly women women should be given that title of of head of the household because that's what not, is the woman doing she's the one cleaning the house that's how it was house. traditionally she's the one cooking in the house she's the one taking care of your kids she's the one in that house 24 7 make sure everything in the house is right and nice like you okay. know what i'm saying so i feel like it should be the woman right well like right now mm -hmm. but i feel like it should have been like that always honestly because i feel like but who was providing okay cooking but what are they cooking with the food that the man cooking, was providing cleaning. they're cleaning with the they're in the that cleaning house supplies that the man is providing and they're the one the, taking care of the house so but they should be the head of the household that makes they're but if I'm choosing to clean up the house, that's because I'm taking care of the house. I'm and if, holding down the house. And if that man dies, that house will crumble. How? Are we talking about traditionally or right now? Because you said I'm that's how it right always should have been. Well, I, I feel like it should be like that now, and that's how it always should have been. I think the man is. I think the man is the man of the household. The I feel like obviously be. if you're the only man in the house, then yeah, you're the man of the house. All right, then stop calling me when spiders are crawling up the wall. Stop because calling me Because you kill a spider, when... you are the man of the house. You know how it's ridiculous that sounds? Stop you're ahead me. of the house because you kill a spider. Stop calling me. Insane. Stop calling me when our cats bring in lizards from outside. Don't tell, don't tell me go chase around a so lizard. stupid. It you're a man of the house you because be, you're head of the house you, because you, yo, kill, you kill bugs. Okay, you're so you start you start getting up in the middle of the night to go see if anybody broke into our house and is sleeping I do, all the time. Maybe you don't. Yes, I do. All right, next prompt. <sighs> Men should pay for dates. I agree. I think so. I think when you get deeper into a relationship, when you're engaged or married, and when it gets to a point where it's established that your money is their money and their money is your money and blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. It serves no difference, but in the dating period, men should definitely, definitely. definitely. Yeah, like, I, like, I agree with everything you said, which is crazy, finally, for once. But I do think at the end of the date, the woman needs to, like, do what she gotta do, too, to make sure that man is happy as well. What, what, dude, go, we're go, 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 go. Why are you keep saying we're not talking about that? Over. We're talking about pay for days. What are you talking about? Like, date. you're saying dumb stuff that don't even make no but sense. She, she's paying her tribute. At the end of the night, she's paying her tribute. In the beginning of the date. So in order for a man to pay for a date, that means he has to get something from the woman sexually no. in order for him nah. to, for it to be okay for him to pay? No, nah, I think he should pay regardless, but I'm saying she should want to pay her tribute as well. So I think at the end of the day, they both are paying, but he's paying financially. Big brain. You sound like so stupid. Um, I feel like men should definitely pay for the dates, especially like a first date, like 
you know what I'm saying like yeah I'm not paying for a no date on the first date like I don't care but once you get into a relationship and you're with that person and yeah I'm not like we've been together for five years you think I make she be him, paying for dates you think I make him pay every single time no I feel like you've always pitched in though yeah like even uh when we first started flying back and forth to each other I think I bought like your first ticket mm -hmm. or your your first and your second ticket and then you started just like buying ticket after ticket yeah and like then I you... don't I don't think like the man should be paying for absolutely every single thing every day every anything that you need like I don't see like that but I don't um, think they should if they're not the head of the household either no honesty <sighs> babe shut up is there a difference between a man and a woman cheating strongly I'll let you answer first men cheat because they're stupid they're bored <laughs> They do it for no reason. Like they, a woman could be doing everything for them, like absolutely everything, providing for them, looking good for them. No matter what you do as a woman, if a man wants to cheat, he's gonna go out and cheat. They just do it for no reason. You could be Beyonce, quite literally, you could be Beyonce and still get cheated on. Women are not like that. We're not gonna just go cheat on you. Even if you're doing everything right, we're not gonna do that. Women cheat because most of the time when I hear stories about women cheating, it's not even a sexual thing or a physical thing. It's emotional. It's because they're not getting fulfilled emotionally. Like, they want like it's more so emotional every time a woman cheats like they I actually fall in love with other people like men is more so physical they'll just go and have sex with a girl you get what I'm saying do you not know what time we're in like women are literally out here wilding no I get what you're saying you're what you're essentially saying is when women cheat it's the man's fault if, if a man cheat it's the man's fault all right let me reword the prompt is it equally bad when a woman cheats as it is when a man cheats no what the prompt said but that's what I'm asking like is there a difference between a man no, cheating, cheating is bad and regardless like it's I think, I think it's I'm worse if I think it's, it for different reasons. I That's think it's worse if a woman cheats. There's a few reasons. It's not worse. Cheating is cheating. No, nah, I just I think but I think if I think a woman that cheats is disgusting. If a things. man cheats, it's more so like whatever. I feel like okay, yeah, he cheated, it's bad, but if a woman cheats, she just gave her secrecy. I, I think I think men should be allowed to cheat. It should be more normalized, which I think is still toxic because I think men should, by default, start practicing semen retention. So I think it's bad if you cheat because you're just giving more of yourself away, but I don't think you're giving yourself away like a woman is giving herself away. What they say, a lock that works with a bunch of keys is a useless lock. A key that works on any lock is a magical key. I think that's what they said. So yeah. Are you ready to close up the video? That's the only prompts? Yeah, I'm done. Why? Because like you're like really irritating me. Like you you literally like I'm actually disgusted in you. Like I don't even wanna like look Bruh. at you. Why are you like you sound like literally stupid. You sound stupid. Do I sound I stupid? I think it's horrible if a woman cheats, but it's okay for a man to cheat. They it should be accepted for men to cheat, really? It's okay for you to cheat? Not me. That's what you just said. I think it should be okay, but I, I'm okay. I don't fine, want if it's to. okay for you to cheat, then it's okay for me to cheat. Bye. No, because no, at, at that no, point you're, you're just a no, lot. It's not. That a lot no, of keys not. have access to. No, it's to. not. No, it's not. What are you? You're a master key. I'm a master no, you're key. nobody. <laughs> you're nothing. The freak. All right, last prompt. Am I being stupid? I literally don't even want to do this video no more. Like you're so like that's really crazy. Personally, I don't think I did much wrong. You don't do anything. That's your opinion, but I can't say that I want to be with somebody who thinks the way that you think. Why would I want to be with a misogynistic, sexist, disgusting man who thinks the way that you think? I'm a feminist. Clearly you're not. I'm a feminist. You're absolutely not. I believe in women's rights. Okay, so if it's okay for a man to cheat, in your words, then it's okay for women to cheat, right? Feminist equality? Equality, but not that type of equality. It just, it, it makes not. no sense. Of That's like not. saying, <laughs> if it's okay for women to have babies, I think men should have babies. Oh my God, like, you sound so stupid. I'm done. Oh biologically, it makes no sense. Okay. Think about it like this. I don't want to think about it. I don't care. Like, keep your stupid opinions to yourself i don't care close out lead the way man I'm lead not, the way I'm mister i'm not posting this video so we're not doing it no so we just waste my time we could just redo it like another day and i guess okay, we, could, we could pick like better prompt where are you going i'm leaving why because you said the video's over so it's over can we finish talking you just said we're not posting it so what what are you, what are you talking about why because you don't want people to see your disgusting misogynistic uh standpoints let them see who you really are don't go to sleep mad let them see who you really are. I disagree with what you're saying. Oh my god. You know how to get up here? Good girl. I'm gonna do this with Halo. Is mommy tweaking? I agree. Do she know what she's talking about? I disagree. Am I right? I agree. Am I wrong? I disagree. Am I misogynistic? I disagree. Is Andrew Tate? I don't know. I guess. I'm gonna leave that up to the people. Is Tate my idol? Today he is. I'm gonna go get her.
You want to try one more thing before? Because, I mean, I might be able to just take the beginning and still be able to make a video. Hold up. Agree. Whenever I say it. No, so you could try me and say something stupid again? Yo, stay in a woman's place. All right, stop. I'm going to smack right, you right. so hard. Stop right. playing with me. Right, you stay in a man's place. How about that? Stay in a little boy's place. How about that? Because that's what you okay. are. Okay. Hold it. I'm about to leave, bro. You're, like, really pissing me off. Just please hold this up when I say this last prompt, and I'll, pro I'll probably be able to edit it and make it right. Okay? Last and final prompt. Um... Is this video a prank? How's it a prank? <laughs> how's it a prank? That's how you really think. No, it's not. All of the prompts I asked literally set me up perfectly to say things that Andrew Tate actually said before. Yeah, your idol. Mm -hmm. Yes, today I love him. You know, I want to say he don't be talking this crazy like that because best believe I would not be with anybody who talks like that. You gonna say sorry to me? I'm, am I gonna say sorry to you for what? Because you the woman, you should be sorry. You know what? <laughs> like, no, you, no. Hurry I'm up. just playing, baby. Right. Comment down below, muscle emojis for men. We out. Bye, guys. <laughs>